Hello guys, welcome to the Rust programming tutorial. This is the third video in this tutorial. In the first video, we have discussed how to set up the Rust environment. And in the second video, we have discussed about the syntax of the Rust programming language and also the Cargo tool set, the Cargo package using Cargo, how we can create a project, how we can compile and run and how do we check whether the syntax and everything is corrected or not and what kind of modes we have like release mode, debug mode, these things we have discussed in the second video. This is the third video in this tutorial. In this, we are going to discuss about the Rust data types. Okay. In the Rust, we have like many different types of data types like integers, floats and other primitive data types. In this video, we are going to discuss about the integer data types. Okay. It has both signed integer types as well as unsigned integer types. As we can see here, under the signed integer types, we have i8, i16, i32, i64, i28. That means here integer of bits, 8 bits, 32 bits, 64 bits, 128 bits. If your system uh, architecture supports 128, then only it will be supported. Otherwise, nowadays, like most of the systems we have up to i64. Okay, here both negative values as well as the positive values will be supported. Similar way, the unsigned integer types. Here only the positive values will be supported. And also, Rust also has like platform specific integer types. For example, you don't want to give like, we don't know like what is our system maximum support size. Okay, you can just simply mention if you want in a signed integer type, you can define that particular variable, declare that particular variable as i size. And if you want only positive values, then you can declare it like a U size. Okay. Now let's see some demo on this part. Okay. Using Cargo, now we will create one project. Inside that, we will see some demo. Okay. So to create a new project, it is like a Cargo new. So and we will give the project name. The project name here we will give it like variable data types, or variables and data types. And also, as I told, the first two videos links I will be keeping it in the uh, description part. Okay. If anyone interested, they can go there and check it. Okay. See now. Uh, the particular project got created. So in this we have source file and main.rs. Okay. Now as usual It will be coming up with this particular main function. Okay, so bring this down because it's a main function and we will define our own function here Okay, so function name will be in teaser data types Now first define the uh, signed in data types. Okay, let's have a comment like this so let's define few things. Okay, the syntax to declare a variable in Rust will be like this. First, we should use the variable like let and the variable name. What we are going to use? Let's say for example, call it as a a1 and the size will be i8. Then it can we can define it like minus 45 because it's a signed integer. Okay. So and one more thing to discuss here is that by default all the variables are immutable in Rust. By default, all the variables in Rust are immutable. I mean, like for example, you have defined a variable as like minus 45 you cannot change this value okay so there is a concept like immutable and immutable that i will discuss in the further uh, videos okay for now we will take it as like a immutable okay and then also define let a to i32 equal to 3456 something some random number okay and also we should have a semicolon okay now let's take let a3 i32 equal to something in the hexadecimal number okay and let a4 i32 equal to something in the octal okay this, the, it will be like this zero and we should give o octal and then in the in this octal format we will have values from zero to seven you can give up to like seven 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 okay and then let a5 i32 equal to and now we will give one value in the binary okay for binary the syntax is like this zero p one one zero zero anything okay so this is like some of the signed integers that we have okay similarly let's have another comment for the unsigned integers and i will upload this code in the github and i will put this like uh, link in the description so that you can check it later okay so now let's take let b variable name is b and u32 equal to any value some random value we can give okay and as i said we all also have the platform specific integer types let's have this comment there This we will take it like let's see i size equal to anything like 65890 or something we can take it okay now let's print these numbers for printing we will use like this okay and have one new line and then numbers are we can have a placeholders and then we can and then the variables are a1 a2 up to a5 and then b comma c okay and also let's find out the size size of the i size here okay print ln and then size of i size 
so to get the size so how we do in is like uh, any other programming languages we use like size of operator right here also we have something like this std okay and then mem it is like a namespace inside that we have object mem and then the size of i size it's a method so that it will get the size of the platform specific signed integer okay so let's save this and we can execute this so also we have our main function let's take it up and then call the above function so we have created our project let's go inside that I have a command like cargo run this will compile and as well as show the result okay let me do that cargo run yes so it's got compiled and it is also running this particular exe so that we can see that the numbers are minus 45 whatever we have given over there okay so let's check yeah minus 45 three four six and this is hexadecimal number and this is the octal number and this is the binary number and again this is the u32 and this is the i size so and the i size is in my system it is eight bytes okay so in the next video we will discuss about the float types and once all the data types are discussion completed then we can go for the mutable immutable concepts and further we will go on thank you for watching please see the content in our channel if you like the content and explanation please like and subscribe thank you for watching